if you change your way, think. I found dinner! Hey bud. Um, I just called Jamie, but my car corrupted. It's my money thing anyway. That one finally. After like 10 tries. Oh, 10 percent chance to find one in the wild. And I'm not wasting I'm not playing any games, boys. I'm going for straight for the quick ball. Quick ball, where's the quick ball? Where's the quick ball? I got a couple of these. You can actually buy them from the po Pokemon Center. I can't believe I don't remember what time you can buy them. Well No Hey, okay, he's challenged on my map. He's got poison touch. I wonder what max catch rate is. I should have gone to something really lower then. Because now he's going to be a beast to try and um, catch. Let's we'll try Ultra Ball. Let's we'll try Ultra Balls. We're going to try everything in a possible way to catch this. He's trying to find him with his map. He's copied the catch rate. And this isn't going to be easy, boys. Okay. Hmm. I think I've stuffed up. I seriously do. I've definitely stuffed up. Whoops. I used the super potion on my mark. I don't need to. This is the super potion I'm going to get back, but I don't need it. We need to use crunch. I was just, there was I was trying, I was trying to use a Sir Potion on my Pangoro. Because he's got, um, uh, Body Slam. But I don't want to get paralyzed, though. Only bad thing, you got, you got a defense drop. I'm going to try a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch will try. If, we don't, if he gets up, if he sits up and minimize. We're going to be pretty badly done. Two, two, two shots. Got him. That was a crap. We're not going to live that because we're... He's quite fragile. Now we can go for false swipe and knock him down a couple of levels. And then we use an adrenaline orb. Swipe. What two more and we'll go him down to one health. There you go, that much. Come on, one more. Yeah, there you guys did I call for help. That's what we need. Oh my god. This is an adrenaline orb right now because we will need a ditto on our team. We're just calling it, we're just making them call for another Pokemon. I don't want to hit you. I'm just hoping you'll call a ditto. We're not looking for imposter, we're just. Ditto's a ditto. The old ditto. Now before he transforms, we're going to have to transform... Oh, damn it. We're going to try Growlithe. We're going to try Growlithe. Hopefully he goes for Venom Drench or something. Hopefully not attacking move because we've got Intimidate. I don't think I'm going to live a crunch. Thank you for so much for going for Venom Drench. You can Intimidate me as much as you like. It's not going to change much. Okay, now I switch in to Pangoro and basically start spamming what I want. It's got, it's got an Intimidate off of me, so it's going to be nice. We've got Mold Break. We can break through that mold. He's got flip it out. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Yeah, I told you it would hurt. I have to hit a couple of false swipes. I'll hit a... I'll hit a, I'll hit a False swipe, and then it will kill himself with flare blitz. 
Got a flamethrower. Oh, I'm not that especially offensive. I take it. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. My steam work. I'm impressed. Well, anyway, now's not the time. Now's the time not to be. Now, now's the time to not be impressed because we've got to take this. We've got to take the muck out and <coughs> quick because otherwise he's gonna hit with too many gunk shots, too many other moves. I never thought about Ditto. I mean, when you try to catch Ditto's, the most important thing to have is like no have false swipe. When I was catching Ditto's in the Friends Safari once, what I did. Was I had a, I think I had a Scyther. He had false swipe and a couple of other weak moves like I don't know. If, because if all you if you if you're just trying to get if you're just trying to get a ditto. Uh, but you know, a ditto you can get a ditto. The best idea is having a Pokemon like, I don't know, Magikarp and having something else. Like so they transform into Magikarp. Then you throw an Ultra Ball or something. A Poke Ball, Great Ball, whatever you want, basically. And you can basically catch them straight away because Magikarp's got the lowest catch rate of all the Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Did my Crunch miss? Yes, it did. Damn it. Should I take me out before? Oh my Growl. I never noticed how, gra how strong my Growlithe was. Damn it. Hit, 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 hit. I need to move that. It never misses. Got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, yeah, boys. Muck us down. The count. I was calling for help, damn it. Good thing it helped him appear. Because we, because Graf is probably the Pokemon with the lowest catch rate on my team at the moment. I mean, because my muck isn't going to exactly be easy to catch. One. No, he's not going to stay. You're gonna weaken him a bit, but then you can use Leer Blitz. Don't you dare call for help and get away with it. There we go, Ditto. Gotta take the Ditto out. He's gonna take me out. Just like, what the hell? I've never been, this is This should be a totem Pokemon, seriously. If I fail this challenge, I've only got like three Pokemon left. That's not looking good. Well, now's the time to use my own Flare Blitz. I can use my own Flare Blitz now. Intimidate him again because he's going to be hitting too hard. I wish I had Flash Fire because then he's going to just, just absorb his attacks. But then again. Flare Blitz! Oh, no, no, no. I know it's going to take me out, but I should be doing a decent amount of damage. Took him out. There we go. It will nearly take me out, all take me out all together because it took me out all together. Whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna fail. He's just, he's just spamming flip, it's the most powerful move I have on my thing. Oh, I didn't use an adrenaline roll, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Well, that's stupid about me, isn't it? I used an adrenaline roll, so now he's nervous, and now he's gonna call for help every couple of turns, so this is gonna be tough. I think it helped him appear because he's basically going to knock himself down to the flare blitz. Now we want to use Dusk Ball because it's night time. Dusk Ball is probably the only thing I have left in my tank. One, two, three! Yeah, boys! Ditto! Ditto found! Ditto caught! Ditto's really good. I caught myself a ditto, boys. Now, gonna be a, now, gonna, now I'm gonna breed my Goomy and just, you know, just do that kind of stuff. Train them up. <sighs> Squishy. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Be back. Guys, you've got her already!
replied to me about the goodies, so. So, I'd, well, no one was answering me, so I had to just go and catch myself up. This hole, which was easier said than done. But we, we got it! I mean, it's only been in like five minutes. We've already got someone, someone's already traded me a ditto. I just got ditto, found it. I don't care about natures. It's just about. It's, I'm not your bull diggers. Ditto, boys! I guess I saw a ditto. Take care of ditto. Oh well. He'll be my breeding partner. Now you might be asking, why am I trading dittos for dittos? Well, the thing is. The thing is. Ditto. I mean, if you're breeding something. Turn the notifications off. Anyway, what what it does? No! Oh well. I suppose we're going, it doesn't hurt to have a quick battle before you before you heal your Pokemon up. It's about dead anyway, so I'll be happy that hopefully I'll be able to win this one because otherwise I'll be. You know, oh, I've got Snorlax. I've got, I've got Ditto. I think I've got. Other ones like that. That should be more than enough. Check it! Impact. This may be a bit o over overkill, but. I thought. This, this killed Skull Fairy. Because we don't want to. We don't want to battle Skull Fairy this long. Because that was so, so, so easy just to get a ditto. Now, I suppose other people want ditto, so I just. You mean. I was, I was looking for ditto. I had Pokemon. I don't have much to trade in it right, 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 right now. I don't have much to trade, so I was looking. Most people on the DCS want So Galeo or you know, some of the really rare ones. Not even not even anything reasonable, you know? Like, come on. I will be getting on with my breeding with my Gumi. I got my Fletchlander. Mm. We my party. Oh, get out. Oh, come on! Stop it! Just replacing them over wishy washy. Just because you're big and fat doesn't mean you can just squash my wishy washy and make them go back to my party. We'll go grab the Gooby, which isn't even a good. It's got Sap Sipper. What nature is it? Sassy. It's about the same. It's about the same. It's about this about what I instead I still I gave hasty. I gave hasty instead. Hasty's pretty better, but it's all good. No, it's got land fly. No, I, I I'm I prepared for this. I need Gumi on my team, so I'm gonna go fly. Where is it? Uh, if I know shit, uh, uh, which one's that? No, it's not this one, it's this one. Royal Avenue, where is it? It's up on here somewhere. If I know. It's, um... It's that one there. It's that one. Late Nine Pokemon Hunt. Finally got... Goody. Coming on my way. Now I will show you a quick tip. This is a penalty of rage. What, what was that? Let's, let's play a bit of Pokemon Snap actually. There's something here. Or an Eevee. This one's gonna be tough to get. I missed. Got him. I I reckon that some of these ones are the best. I think. 
this one's the best. I think that one's the best. No, no, no other places in it. It's just computers, you know. There's an EV in there. Now we've got Route 5. Now, I suggest chucking on a repel. Well, hang on. Is it here somewhere? Oh, it's on the Panolia Ranch, remember that. It's on Route 5, isn't it? I'm not sure. Where is the daycare? I can't remember. Ah, here it is. Okay, you can take care of my Gumi. And yeah, I love that noise. And my ditto. My ditto, my ditto. And and I'll show you a really quick way. When I get an egg, I'll show you a really quick way to hatch them. It's like, it's like 60 seconds or something. Did you took this girl? I got some eggs. I'm gonna show you the quickest way to hatch them. It's called this way. So you might be thinking, how do I hatch eggs really quickly? I hope you guys can see that. Probably can't see that well. I see the quality of the camera's actually even worse. Cause I I think you guys can see that. No, you can't see that. I'll have to set that up again. Right, so every time I do that, it falls off. Very fish law. Anyways, I'm gonna be hatching those super eggs super quickly. <laughs> Move back a bit. I can get my hands on this. So you go into the little... <laughs> You See, you're here. This is the daycare. You got an egg. I've got like four of them right now. And I'm going to show you. It's going to take like no time at all. My egg. It doesn't seem close to hatching. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna go get timer. I know what it takes. Timer's all set. I'm gonna shut down the eggs. Yeah. It should not take this long. I've got a flame body on my pipe party. I haven't actually gone that far. So what you do is you... See, so there's a daycare. This woman. You go into this little here. Get on your Tauros. I'm going to set the timer. Three. Oh, I'm going to set you up first. Okay. One. Two. Three. Go. That's where the time is going. We're gonna get a good out of First bang, we're gonna go all the way around. Get this process going. This is how you get your eggs hatched. It's not how you just do the circle paddle. We're 20 seconds into it. Just hold down B and move the circle pad around. We're 30 seconds in. 30 38. Sure, sure, Taurus is getting dizzy. Especially bought them from nothing. 
Here we go! That was 54 seconds. Fifty-four seconds, no joke. That was fifty-four seconds, no joke. That is something crazy stuff. In less than a minute, you can actually eat from basically nothing. This definitely beats the good old O power hatching. <laughs> definitely does. You don't actually have to go anywhere. You just keep going circling around. It's so simple. Go check the nature of him. He's a male. He's. That's no, not. I just took a look at me on the trades, see how we move here. So I'm just going to keep going on this. So it doesn't take very long just to hatch an egg. That was from nothing, seriously. No kidding. I showed you guys and basically said this one was, egg wasn't close to hatching. And that, uh, and that was, that's pretty, that's pretty neat trick. In less than a minute you can hatch an egg. Now the egg... It definitely beats, I'm so happy about this, they've actually made an area to hatch eggs. Every game had somewhere to hatch eggs. X and Y had the Lumios Tower, where you had to put a coin under this little thing here. You probably can't see the, 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 the circle pad. And you just keep going round and round and round and round. This was also a really good way to actually get some easy levels. Didn't, if you didn't know, easy levels on X and Y. Put your Pokemon, slap, slap two Pokemon in the daycare. Circle around. Do as many circle, do, do as many laps as you can. Just, just, just go. Just leave it. Leave, just leave the coin in there. Uh, no, that's not good. Just leave a um, coin in there or something. Something that's gonna make move the pad around. And basically, all you had to do was just go out. Let, plug your DS in. Plug your DS in. Just some power so that way it didn't go flat. And go out basically, um, do shopping, go out. Or do something else, like, you don't have to be there watching it. As long as you set it up in the right spot, you can just... <laughs> I guess you're getting food like this, but... Yeah, it's a pretty neat way to hatch your eggs. Hatch your eggs in less than a minute. Give me a hatched out of an egg. Hopefully it's good nature. Because over the last two natures, we're not actually that good. Hopefully this one's good nature. I don't care about gender. I just care about... Mm. Where is he? So we got that one. That one. Attack! Damn it! It's adamant! Teaser! Teaser, seriously, teaser. I don't want to, man. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to ad run an adamant one. Sadly. And the thing is, you can't get out of here with your Taurus. Especially just spam around like this. How many eggs do I need? How many eggs do I need to hatch? Got one more egg to hatch. But hey, why not? Two. We'll do two instead of one. Because they, they, surely they've got enough egg for me. This is a great way. The deck is just there. It's not too far away. It's just like a couple of steps away. It's very close. You can take your eggs r super quick. Really easy. Not that hard work. I might be chasing a couple of gummies away. Because um, gummies are pretty hard to get. You know? Gummies are hard to get. I mean, I've been searching. I've been searching for hours looking for gummies, and I found I found one. But seriously, that's why it's just so hard to get gummies. So gummies are pretty rare. You can only find them on the rain on Route Seventeen. Well, you can find them in the Lush Dungle, but it's got to be in Overworld Rain or something. Not sure if it drizzle actually affects that. I haven't actually tried it because I don't want to try it in Lush Jungle. <laughs> Not the egg, that's my other egg. See, why are you doing one of them? You just keep hitting your eggs. 
a minute to read, a minute to read, that, that's six eggs in six minutes. A lot quicker than the other games, you just keep firing up the grill, and your Taurus just make it max speed. This only works with the Taurus, I'm pretty sure. It really goes, I'm not sure how quick it, but Taurus is the quickest way, because you can just boost it with B. Just keep twirling around, and we'll just get the last three going. And then I'll just stop recording until I get a good natured one. Depends how fast you can go to super speed, but then sometimes you muck it up. If you go slowly, it does it as well, but... It depends how fast you actually turn it. Turn it really fast, and then you can actually lose your balance, and so see. You get like this, turn it around really slow, or you can turn it around really fast. I like to turn it around really fast, because that means it doesn't take as long. Up to you. You hear mud braids as well because mud braids are where they actually spawn. Mud braids spawn in this. Oh, come on. Is the torch run out of juice? No, it's always got juice in there. Come on, egg. I've got one more egg to hatch, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I do. So, I just ignore her in the background. She's just been annoying. I'm in my room, so she can't. Have I got the egg to hatch? Your egg's still going. Just seems like it's taking a really long time to actually egg. There's no O powers in this game, I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise it'd be super sick. You could hatch one egg like I'm not sure, even like even like thirty seconds you could hatch an egg or something. The E power maybe, maybe you could even hatch in like something like twenty seconds or something with the egg power three. I'd definitely say some like fifty seconds for definitely like forty seconds for one power. Um but there's no e o powers in this game. Just they just changed it all up. Let's keep twirling around. I'll be back when I. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hours later. Can't believe I did it. I got two modest nature runs at the same time. I just I just thought, well, I'm not even gonna look. I hatched, I hatched five eggs, and two of them were modest, and a couple of them were just neutral, which is pretty uh, unfortunate, but, yeah. I'm going to go with one, the one's got higher defense than the other one. No, we don't need it. No, we got to take our, give me out. <clears throat> Thank you very much, it's hydration. I don't think that's actually trying your Pokemon up because look. Oh my god, I just have to put my games on the PC and get the one with the best defense out. Look at my breed, look at my breed jigs. There's, uh, there's heaps of them. I might I might just want to trade them. I was thinking about breeding some. Because they are breeding some modest ones and doing them on want to trade or something. Oh, my box is full of those pieces of rubbishes. We're gonna, tr we're gonna re release this guy. We don't want him. We've got rubbish. We've got one. This one can get released. Sorry, Gimme. You're getting released. Most hydration. So one, yeah, we're gonna use instead of using this one. We're gonna move this one, and we're just gonna leave him in there. We're gonna use this one. Finally, boys, finally. They'll rip. They'll, they'll just about wrap it up for you for, for today's episode. I know it's a bit of a short one, but our team is finally complete. We just gotta raise the game up. I will raise him. I'll be, I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't guess I want to see him being raised, but, boys, he evolves at level, for you that don't know, I will be recording the evolutions, he, the next evolution is level 40, which is actually pretty far away, just, just for training to get me up, anyway, I need the lucky egg or something, I need the lucky egg, I think you can get it from the professor, this house, got a Charizard, 
Milly Milly Island. You turn, I'm gonna go back to our house. Where's our house? Shopping district. There it is. There it is. Outskirts. We're gonna go. We're we'll gonna have to go get. It. Hopefully, he's still there. I mean, you can get lucky once you caught, caught enough Pokemon. Haven't seen the professor in a long time. This is a really bad thing that you have to grind for ages. It's not even here. I will look it up. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let like and subscribe. Even when those likes helps us out quite a bit. Oh, another side guard cell. I will be trying my gimme up, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be going to Hagley Park today in summer, so.